Hallelujah. Sunday, August the 2nd, parking lot service at Siloam Baptist Church.
No, they want yeah. to. She just wanted to put us in it. They ain't calling it. Hey, Andrea. Uh, hello, darling. How are you, Mr. Massey? I'm good. Hi, my brother. How are you? That's Chucky. It oh, is. Chucky, I didn't. You see these <laughs> she didn't recognize me. She didn't recognize me. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I need to open up. I feel like a piece of paper. You got a slap on in there. Yeah, at home. You got the, oh. you got one in your car. Like you on a cruise here and now you starting to glisten, girl. It's getting warm out here for sure. Oh.
bless our preacher, our worship leader today. Take us to higher heights and deeper depths. In Jesus' name. So we say, here's my worship smile. Bonjour, bonjour. God bless you. us from worshiping. Clouds in the skies can't stop us from worshiping. We are here to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm expecting a blessing this morning. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Anybody expecting a blessing this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody want to see God show up this morning? Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We praise God for your being here today. We're, we're not going to go through our normal ritual for our Sunday morning service, but we're going to honor God throughout the day. But first of all, I want to just take one minute, one minute, to welcome our friends from the Valley View Baptist Church. All right, now. Community. All right. Hey, hey, hey. They Valley View Community. Yes, yes. And we're going to get a date where we can go up there. Amen. 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 All right. All right. All right. God is good. God is good. We uh, want to go forth today uh, with some testimonies. With some testimony. Anybody have a testimony to share about what the Lord? Yes, ma'am. I want to thank God for allowing us to Understanding of me as a mom, being able to provide so that we could do a great party for him yesterday. Amen. And he just blessed us with so many family and friends that came to see us. It really just moved my heart. Amen. Amen. He's allowed my son to get a full ride to Cheney University. Amen. He takes him all the way through grad school. Oh wow. Amen. That's beautiful. Amen. I'm here for more pleased with how much he did for us. So I just want to say that. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Amen. Someone else? Someone else? Someone else? That's the only testimony in the house? No, I have one. Oh, okay. My daughter is on her way home. I haven't seen her since February, and she hasn't been here since December. So. We're praising God for today's family gathering. Amen. 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 Someone else? Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to uh, thank the support for the Meals of Hope uh, ministry that has been able to uh, sustain itself and feed the homeless every Friday. We have not missed a beat thanks to the uh, generosity, okay, of people and thanks to the work of the, of the workers, okay, many of which are here right now. Uh, just all praises to God for uh, his well-being. Amen. 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 Yes, I was just going to say that uh, my brother-in-law who lives with us uh, had to go through a surgery and things seemed to go wrong in many ways. But praise the Lord, the second surgery, everything's been going great. And I want to thank two people from this congregation who prayed with me last week, Bill and Mrs. Loretta, I'm not sure. Oh, so powerhouse. 
Amen. 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 One more. Yes, ma'am. I just want to thank God for being here today amongst my family. It's been a struggle. And it's a long journey ahead. But this is the norm I see now. But I thank God that he allowed me to see this and understand it mm -hmm. so I can deal with it. And I just ask for prayers for my family. Amen. 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 This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice. And be glad in it. Well, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has. Made. Can we sing it one more time? This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day this that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. Oh, I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. 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 Well, I guess it's preaching time now. Yeah. We got a preacher in the house. So let us pray for Minister Beach as she shares God's word with us. Amen. 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 Amen.
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what to do. Amen. What is it? Mm. Do you know what to do? Mm. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him praise. Worship. Give him honor. Give him glory. Thank Worship you. him. Thank you ain't like y'all don't know what to do. We ain't going to be silent like we were last week. <laughs> Valley View. <laughs> We have to give him praise, yes. honor, yes. and glory. Because yes. it is rightfully yes. due yes. him. It is rightfully due him. So, thank you all for putting up with me today. But the Lord has a word for you today. And I'm asking him to give you what he has given to me. And to make it plain and for us to stand boldly on his word and on his promises. Amen. So, uh, let's go to a word of prayer. Most Holy and Heavenly Father, we come to you this day. Thank you for the day that you have given us. Lord, we thank you for who we are and who we are to you. But Lord, right now we're coming to a time where we are going to praise and worship you. And we are going to hear from on high. So Lord, I ask you for them to see less of me and more of you. And whatever you have given me today, I ask that they receive it with the anointing that you have given. So Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we honor you. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Can Amen. everyone hear me? Amen. Yes, yeah. indeed. Okay. So are you saying I have Good a big man? The voice of God. <laughs> Can you hear me over there? <laughs> no, we no? don't need to come closer. Well, yeah, come on now, you can't do nothing about it. Let him move. All right, well, get up and move. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to project as loud as I can. Right on. Okay? So our scripture for today is John chapter 6, verses 53 through 58. John 6, 53 through 58. And Lord, we thank you for this breeze. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> and to right hold on. off the rain. <laughs> so John 6, 53 through 58. Okay. Jesus said to them, very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh, my blood, has eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. For my flesh is real food and my blood real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate manna and died. But whoever feeds on this bread yeah. will live forever. Amen. Are you feeding on this? Are you feeding on this bread? Yes, yes, so sir. by feeding on this bread, again, it gives you what? Eternal life. And this is a we talking back to each other because we in a new season. Amen. Amen. So the title of this message is opportunity or obstacle. Opportunity or obstacle. So let's think about the Lord's supper. What is it? Just what is the Lord's Supper? Nobody has an answer? Hello? Are you still up? Do the sister, Sister Tammy, I heard you. What you said? His body and blood that was shed, shed, shed for us. That's why we have the Lord's Supper. Not because, it's because we can drink some grape juice and some a wafer. <laughs> that is not why we have the Lord's Supper. It's because we are remembering what he did for us. Yes. Amen. And then we should also know why he did it. Yes. So it is a physical gathering, not a, not a scattered one. And because of this pandemic, it has become scattered. scattered. Amen. 
okay, has become scattered. It is a shared supper and uh, our shared identification. We are one body in Christ. Amen. One body in Christ. So Holy Communion is a gift from Christ to his church. Yeah, yeah. We celebrate communion with him and with each other. So this is just not a happening. We are doing this on purpose. All right. We are doing this on purpose. Amen. And if that's the case, why have we allowed Satan to give us a spirit of what? Fear. A fear. fear. Amen. A spirit of fear. This coronavirus is not of God. It's not of God. But God has allowed it to happen. Yes, it is a deliberate assault by Satan. He has and is using this against us. So how many of us know that God could squash this in a nanosecond? Amen. If he wanted to. Yes, Lord. But there is a lesson yes. that yes. we must yes. learn. Yes, this Lord. is not by happenstance. Amen. Right, right. Because Amen. God would not have just let this happen. Yes. Right. There's a reason for this. Amen. And it's an opportunity or it's an obstacle. Amen. It's your choice. Mm. It can be either one. Right. But it's Satan is using this to divide us and draw us away from God. Yep. It is a deliberate assault by Satan. And it wants us to destroy our relationship with God. Now, why am I saying that? Because many of us are fearful. Let's, make, let's not make a mistake. Many of us are fearful. And I'm not talking about you because I don't want to know who is fearful. But I know I sometimes am fearful. Mm -hmm. When I have to leave my house, and go to the supermarket or wherever I have to go, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I get a little fearful. Because this is no joke. Within the last week, I have had two cousins, first cousins, die with Corona. Wow. Wow. One last Sunday and one on Friday. Wow. Thank God I know one was saved. I'm not sure about the other. And if I'm not sure about the other, whose fault is that? Because I did not do what I was supposed to do. Mm. Make sure and know that he has heard at least the word of God. And I want you all to search yourself. Mm. And is there somebody in your family that you need to pick up the phone and say, Hey, do you know the Lord that I serve? Amen. 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 And you don't have to go from Genesis to Revelation. <laughs> you don't have to go to Genesis to Revelation. Amen. All you need to do is give him or her a word. Amen. God so loved the world oh, yes, right. Lord. that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, Lord. Who died for you and died for me. Yes. Yes, Lord. That's all you have to give him. At least you can say they heard the word. Now it's up to them what they do with it. So, you ask me how Satan can draw us away from God. I'm glad you asked. I didn't hear anybody ask. But that's in my notes. So, <laughs> I am glad you asked. Well, Satan plays mind games. He has a saying to ourselves. If God loves me, and you, you just told me that God so loved the world, how can he let this thing happen? Satan also will have you saying, if he is such a merciful God, where is the mercy? People are dying worldwide. As of this morning, it was 689,187 death because of Corona. This has taken mothers, fathers, yeah. grandparents, yeah. aunts, uncles, cousins, and even children. Mm -hmm. And he also could have you saying, since God is a good God, you say, he wouldn't let this happen. There's no way. 
he would let this happen. And if God is who he says he is, where is the love? That's the trick and the mind game of the enemy. That's exactly what he is designed to do. Put fear in you. Put fear in you. So the, and the questions can be many more than what I just said to you. It can be many more, but that's the work of the enemy. He wants to instill a spirit of fear. Now, often, Minister Bill and I talk right before he goes to work. And I usually say when we end the conversation, and as you all know, we fight like sisters and brothers. <laughs> but I usually say be safe and be blessed as you go to work tonight. And he usually says to me, I'm covered with the blood. All right. <laughs> and he walks through those floors of the hospital covering each and every room with the blood. Are you covered mm. with the blood? All right. And what does that mean to be covered with the blood? Second mm. Timothy chapter one, verse seven says, God did not give us a spirit of fear. But what did he give us? Power and love and a sound mind. He gave us power, love, and a sound mind. Yes. So if he gave it to you, what are you doing with it? Amen. Good question. What are you doing with it? He gave us power. Good. He gave us love. Yeah. He gave us a sound yeah. mind. So what are you doing with well. it? We can rebuke this thing in the name of Because we have power. So don't give me the wrong words because it says that we have power and love. But don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. Although we have power and we have love and a sound mind, don't get it twisted. I'm not telling you that all of a sudden because you have the Lord on your side that you should not wear a mask you should not wear a face shield. You should not wash your hands. You should not do what they say you are supposed to do. God also gave us wisdom <laughs> and a sound mind. All right. So don't be stupid All right. and don't get it twisted. Because I'm not saying don't go out there without your mask. Come on. I got masks galore. I can probably sell the mask to some masked people because I got that many. But I'm telling you to cover yourself with what you are supposed to because he did give us wisdom, but also cover yourself with the blood uh -huh. of Jesus. Because yeah. yeah. he did not waste his blood for nothing. Right. His blood was for you, shed for you and for me. So like I said, don't get it twisted. But now, we are human, and fear is a human emotion. We all at one time are fearful. Just think back when you first learned how to cry. You have to tell me, you can't tell me that you, well, uh, maybe some guy. And see, here we go. There's one right there who probably had his first accident when he first started to drive. Never had one. But the point is, we all, it's an emotion. We all at one time are fearful of something. But there's a difference from having a spirit of fear. There's a difference. There's a difference from being fearful and having a spirit of fear. Now, if we have a spirit of fear, what does that mean? You often say it. What does it mean? A spirit of fear. Well, is the Holy Spirit a spirit? Did God leave the Holy Spirit to comfort us? And when we accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit began to do what? And dwell within us. So a spirit of fear and the Holy Spirit cannot habitate together. Amen. They Amen. cannot habitate together. Something's got to go. 
either you're going to have a spirit of fear or the spirit of the Holy Spirit. And I want to tell you that this pandemic is war. It is war. But the Lord has given us our combat uniform. And Ephesians 6 verses 11 to 18 says, Stand against the scheme of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against authority, against the powers of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly, in the heavenly realm. So when the evil one comes, we need to do what? Put on our armor. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. And you need to put on the belt of truth. Yes, yes. The breastplate, pray, breastplate of righteousness. Yes, yes. With your feet fitted with the gospel of peace. Yes, sir. Take up your shield. Yes, sir. And a faith which you can extinguish those flaming arrows of the, the evil one. Take that shield. When that, those darts start coming, we even buy. <laughs> Think you are Muhammad Ali. Rope a dope. Oh, don't act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. We need to put on the whole armor. Put on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which of course is the word, of the word of God. So all these things give us authority to rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. So when Jesus left here to go with his father, he said he would leave us a comforter. And so when he, we accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as our savior, the Holy Spirit started living in us. Now sometimes we don't act like it, Sometimes we don't act like it, but that is his gift to each and every one of us. So if the Holy Spirit is living in us, there should be no spirit of fear. Amen. So Jesus is not the author of junk. And that's what the spirit of fear is. He is, um, he is the author of perfection of our faith. And his death was sufficient to pay the penalty of our sins for both you, me, and the whole world. Amen. So he is the only way to salvation. Jesus said he is the way, truth, 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 truth and, the and the life. And no one can come to the Father except through him. And that's why we do not have a spirit of peace because he is the way, the truth, and the life. So when we allow the Holy Spirit to do his job and we get out of his way and out of his lane, we have the opportunity to show that faith we have that we always talk about. We always talk about faith the size of a mustard seed. But is your faith the size of a mustard seed? Is your faith the size of a mustard seed. And during this time, are you exhibiting that mustard seed faith? Are you exhibiting that faith? So within us, we have the strength of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit reminds us of God promise. It gives us courage and we should trust and we will be and are victorious. So let us not fear and let us be strong and of good courage. So during this pandemic, we are reminded of our weaknesses, but we should realize our strength, the strength we have in Jesus, the Christ, with the Holy Spirit. So don't let our fears be an obstacle. Don't let it be an obstacle. Let's take this opportunity to demonstrate our fears and rest in God's faithfulness. 
because fear can be an obstacle and showing the world who we believe in and that he can do exceedingly and abundantly above anything we could think of that or ask because our God is just that wonderful he is just that awesome he is just that awesome so and it is a testimony that although I know that there is a pandemic and I'm going to do what I need to do, put on my mask, put on my shield, put on my gloves, but I am gonna cover myself and my family That's right. with the blood yes, of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Cause you can walk, as they used to, my mother used to say, walking as proud as a peacock. And if all you know about a, uh, some people know what I'm talking about. If you know a peacock, and I don't know why the Lord decided to give the males the colorful plumes, but I, I'm going to ask him when Here I get there. <laughs> I'm going to ask him. Here we go. But however, when he walks, he struts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when we have the faith, the size of a mustard seed, we should be walking as proud as a peacock. Beyonce has a, a movie or something out, and I heard part of it, and it says, if you hold your head down, you cannot wear a crown. So if you wear a crown, you've got to walk with authority. you got to walk like you know. And how you know is by the blood of Jesus right. that was shed for all of us. That's how you know. So let's take this opportunity to exhibit our faith knowing that God is going to do just what he promised. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. So let's take this opportunity to be witnesses of Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for us. He shed his blood. He paid our debt even before we were born. He knew each and every one of our names. But he thought it not robbery to shed his blood. So we are children of the Most High God. And God has not given us a spirit of Amen. He's Amen. given us power. Amen. He's given us love. And he's given us a sound. Amen. 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 So don't let this pandemic no. Still your fear or still your fear. This pandemic was designed by Satan. When do you know of a disease or a virus that has affected every place in the world and has taken so many people away? So, we can be But we know who's got our back. Amen. So we have the spirit of the Holy Spirit with us. Amen. 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 Most holy and heavenly Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but you've given us power. You've given us love, and you have given us a sound mind. So right now, Lord, we thank you. We praise you, and we honor you. In Jesus the Christ name. Amen. 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 Now, is there anyone here who has not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? It looks like we all are children of the Most High God and brothers and sisters. Amen. 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 I tell you, that's the message for right now, isn't it? Yeah. Right now, yes, Everybody's indeed. wondering, if I do this, do that, I might get that disease. Yeah. And in some cases, we need to be careful, amen? Amen. But we don't ever need to what? Be fearful. Yeah, fearful. To be fearful. Yeah. Because we're God's children. Amen. And God takes care of us. And if we get it, it's got to go. 
Yes, indeed. It's got to go in the name of Jesus. So we praise God for this message. We praise God for this messenger. And we pray that you will take that message home with you today. Amen. 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 All right, we're preparing now for our communion service. All those who have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, you are invited to come and to share with us in our communion service. Um, um, we're going to serve them. Um, Mr. Bill, Deacon Barry, Deacon James is back there. I think that's where he wants to be. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just thinking past his beard. I think that's where he wants to be. Come if he wants to. Deacon Barry, where's he? I thought he might have been raptured, sister. <laughs> Take me with you, Deacon Barry. Yo, Yo Barry, I want to go. We didn't go Yo, nowhere. Yo, Barry. I'm sorry. See you. Yo, I want to go, Barry. I'm with you, Barry. We get communion upstairs, bro. Amen. All right. We're going to hand out the, the elements, and then we'll have prayer, and then we'll have our service. When we you put both of those in there. The rising sun. Oh Lord. Yeah. Move away from there, bro. I keep thinking I'm gonna see the sparks start flying from the wheel, bruh. Telephone line. So what? Hallelujah. Break bread and mercy on our knees. Yes, Lord. The kids are in the back. Huh? 
Let us pray, most holy and everlasting God, our Heavenly Father, we ask that you will bless and consecrate these elements we are about ready to receive as a reminder of your great sacrifice on our behalf. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, that you came all the way down from glory, just and suffered, bled, and died, that we may have a right to the tree of life. We thank you, O God, and we remember you today and we ask you, Lord, to use us as modern day servants of yours in any and every way that you desire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You open up your top cup, the top cover, and reveal the bread when you have it. Would you raise it up in your right hand? For I deliver unto you that which was delivered unto me, that on the night in which you was betrayed, Jesus took bread. After having given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Let us eat together. Like manner, he took also the cup. After having blessed it, he said, this is the new covenant in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us drink together. That tasted like real wine. <laughs> Somebody wants to drive me home. <laughs> about to fall out. Father God, this has been a wonderful service. We heard a great word. Amen. We've had great fellowship Amen. and sharing. But most of all, we serve a great God. Hallelujah. A God who never fails, a God who keeps his word, a God who meets us always at the point of our need and rescues us from the errors of ourselves and others. We pray now, God, as we prepare to depart from this place, that your grace, love, and mercy will go with us. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for that message. Thank you for that message. It's thorough, right? It's